Hey, it's Doug again with another one of my lab videos. Today I'm making uh, part two in a series of copper compound videos. And in this part, I've saw it fit to update the process of making copper two carbonate, which serves as a precursor to many other copper two compounds. So I found a much easier method of making copper two carbonate. If you recall in the first method, a lot of carbon dioxide gas is produced when the co copper sulfate solution is added to the sodium hydrogen carbonate solution. Um, in this method, we release the carbon dioxide gas from the sodium hydrogen carbonate along with a little bit of water to form sodium carbonate. And then when we mix the sodium carbonate with copper 2 sulfate, uh, the copper 2 carbonate is still formed, yet no carbon dioxide is given off. So the reaction tends to be a lot easier to perform since there's no foaming over of the final product. And this foaming usually takes uh, the addition of the two solutions uh, and makes them take several minutes. So the first thing we need to do is uh, make sodium carbonate out of sodium hydrogen carbonate. Now this is very easy to do because um, sodium hydrogen carbonate is a bit unstable and, will, and tends to decompose under heat. So what I have here is a very hot beaker uh, on my hot plate and when we add the sodium hydrogen carbonate to the beaker we'll immediately be able to see gas being given off if it was hot enough. And as this heats up, uh, the sodium hydrogen carbonate will decompose into sodium carbonate, and as well as carbon dioxide gas and water. Now this, you don't have to sit and stir, because you could actually do this in your oven if you really wanted to. Just lay out a bunch of uh, baking soda on a cookie sheet or something, and just make sure that it gets to about 270 degrees Celsius, which uh, I believe roughly is about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. However, um, sodium hydrogen carbonate can decompose at as low as 50 degrees Celsius, so... Um, as long as you have the majority of it decomposed, you won't have that much of a carbon dioxide problem with your final product. So as you can see here, we're losing some water. It's starting to get kind of sticky near the bottom. And I'll cut to a, a segment uh, where the gas evolution is very apparent. So, we'll be back in a minute. Alright, so the sodium hydrogen carbonate has had time to heat up, and now gas evolution has become a lot more apparent. I don't know if it'll still pick it up on camera, but you'll notice when I stir, little like blowholes form. See right there at the tip of my stirring rod? Another one up here a little bit. Oh, see right there? It becomes very fluffy. You can see the gas coming right out of the powder. See? There, now it's really obvious. And that's simply water vapor and carbon dioxide being given off as the sodium hydrogen carbonate decomposes into sodium carbonate. And once this all has been converted to sodium carbonate, we will then uh, dissolve it in water and mix it with our copper sulfate solution to form our copper 2 carbonate without the carbon dioxide this time. Okay, so our sodium carbonate, or our sodium hydrogen carbonate, has been fully decomposed into sodium carbonate. And uh, this is the carbonate right here. It's a fine white powder. And uh, though not very soluble in water, it is soluble. And here is a solution of sodium carbonate. Uh, also over here is a solution of copper 2 sulfate, which I prepared earlier. And um, upon mixing of these two solutions, we should see the formation of our uh, teal, turquoise kind of colored copper 2 carbonate uh, with very little carbon dioxide evolution. Because carbon dioxide, as you recall, was a problem in the previous synthesis. And made a bunch of foaming over. So, with the addition of this to this, we should see no foaming in a precipitate form. There we go. Now as you can see it wasn't fully decomposed so we do have a slight amount of foaming however not nearly as much as before. And that is our copper 2 carbonate. You can see it falling right out of solution and collecting on the bottom. Much easier way of making copper 2 carbonate. So if you're going to make copper 2 carbonate I would suggest using this method as opposed to the other foamy method because it tends to make a mess. 
is Doug, and that Doug's a video. Subscribe, rate, comment, and thanks for watching.